Hey guys, today we're going to be going ahead and taking a look at pronouns for language. You will need out your language notebook. Label it at the top with today's date. We're going to be taking some notes and you're going to be writing some answers in your notebook. Also label at the top pronouns. I'll give you a second to get set up. The word pronouns has what word inside of it? Charlie? Noun. noun. So you think pronouns are going to probably have something to do with noun. nouns. Yeah. Does anybody know anything about pronouns before we get started? Mason? He says there are specific names is his uh, prediction. Anybody else think they know anything about pronouns? Leah? You're being more specific in your nouns, she says. Describing. Describing our nouns. All right, let's go ahead and find out. All right, so what is a pronoun exactly? A pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun or many nouns. I want you to write that in your language notebook. It takes the place of a noun. So you could write pronoun equals a word that takes the place of a noun. Remember, in notes, do they need to be neat? No. no, this is not like a final draft of our writing where it needs to be neat. It needs to be able to be legible from you, okay? As long as you can read your notes, okay? We tend to try and take notes quicker so we can get through them faster. So it's okay if they're a little sloppier, just as long as you can read them. We also want to try and shorten things when we can with still getting the accurate definition. So that's why here I said I would write pronoun equals a word that takes the place of nouns. And then I kind of shortened that a little bit. All right, so a noun, we remember, is a person, place, thing, or idea. And there are three types of pronouns. We have subject pronoun, object pronoun, and possessive pronoun. So also underneath your definition of pronoun, I want you to write subject, object, and possessive. Those are our three types. Subject, object, possessive. Oh, can you see? Sorry. Pronouns help you not to repeat the same noun or nouns over and over again. So if I said, Mrs. Bush likes to ride horses, Mrs. Bush likes to eat sushi, Mrs. Bush uh, likes to play with her kids, I don't need to keep saying Mrs. Bush over and over again. I can say Mrs. Bush, and then I could say she, instead of saying my name over and over and over again, okay? All right, so looking at subject pronouns. A subject pronoun comes in the subject of a sentence. Makes sense, right? That's easy to remember. So the subject is the who or what this sentence is about. And our predicate, remember that's like our action, okay? What the subject is or does or is doing, okay? It comes in the subject of the sentence. So this, instead of saying a subject pronoun, they replace that with the pronoun it.
So remember that the subject is the who or what in the sentence. It often comes to the beginning. And here are some examples of subject pronouns. I want you to write this in your language notebook. Subject pronouns and then make a list. I, he, it, you, we, they, and she. Those are some good, good examples. I know that you guys have used pronouns before. You just didn't realize probably that they were called pronouns, right? You guys use the word I all the time in your writings. You use it, he, even in your talking, you use pronouns all the time. You just didn't realize what they were called. I, he, it, you, we, they, she. This PowerPoint is on your iPad. If you ever need to go back or if I'm going too fast for you, you can view it on your iPad. The man threw the dodgeball at the man's face. That just sounds weird, right? The noun man was used twice in the same sentence. Okay, so instead, let's replace one of those with a pronoun. And hopefully we won't actually throw it at somebody's face. So instead of saying the man, I could say he threw the dodgeball at the man's face. He being the pronoun there. All right, so use a subject pronoun in place of the underlined words, uh, word or words. So let's do some examples. So write number one in your language notebook. You do not have to write the sentence. I just want you to write a pronoun. So it says, Jason fixes bikes in his spare time. Instead of saying Jason, what is a pronoun I could use there? He. he. Very good. Number one, he. Number two. One of Jason's sisters helps him. So my subject is underlined, one of Jason's sisters. Instead of saying that, what is a pronoun I could use instead, Justice? Huh? His, is that, is one of Jason's sisters, would that be a boy saying his? She, listen if it makes sense. Her helps him, does that make sense? No, that sounds kind of funny, right? She helps him. Does that sound better? Yeah. yeah. So make sure once you choose that pronoun, say it in your head, and a lot of times it will sound funny if it's not the right one. And make sure you have the right gender, okay, for he or she, what they're talking about there. Number three, the bird fell out of nest. Should be of a nest. Uh, do we know if the bird is a he or a she? No. I don't know if that's a he or a she there, so what could I say there? Raina? It. Yeah, I could use it. <laughs> Fell out of a nest. Okay. Writing these in your language notebook, guys. Number four, Jack and Jill ran up the hill. Now, this is not just uh, one person here. I have two people, and I have one boy and one girl here. What could be a pronoun, Bradley? Yeah. They ran up the hill. Good. Number five, my father and I love to go fishing. Now, just like number four, there's two people. So could I say they? No. No? no? Why no. can I not use they, Hannah? Because you're talking about yourself. Yeah, you're talking about yourself. You're using uh, the word I, so you're going to say we love to go fishing. So even though they would sound right, they love to go fishing. You have to think about who are they talking about specifically though. All right, object pronouns. Object pronouns often come in the predicate of the sentence, meaning the action part. Uh, here they, uh, they use them as an example. Billy's team will never beat Amy 
Katie, Pete, Sarah, Paul, Lily, Burr, Ernie, Philip, Jessica, Mary, Allison, Bob, Rebecca, Nate, Jake, and me. Oh that list of a lot of people, right? Yeah. Instead of listing all of those people, could I use a pronoun there? That'd be so much easier, yeah. So I have my subject, we have our predicate, that's a lot of names. <laughs> so I could say us, Billy's team will never be us. And this was an us instead of a them because I had myself in it, it says and me. All right, I want you to list our object pronouns in your notebook. Here we go. Me, you, him, us, her, them, and it. We also had it as a subject too, right? Yeah, yep. So list these in your language notebook. Object pronouns, me, you, him, us, her, them, it. Object pronouns. <laughs> no, there's not a pronoun for all of those. Good try. I like that though. Alright, so we're going to use an object pronoun in place of our predicate. Do you like talking on the phone with Dave. Instead of saying Dave, what could I say there? Megan? Very nice. Him. Number two in your language notebook. Actually, it is more fun talking with Heather. Mimi? It's more fun talking with her. Yeah, more fun talking with her. Would she make sense? She's a referring to a girl, right? Actually, it is more fun talking with she. But does that one sound right? No, you can tell it sounds funny, right? Number three, can you please hand the pencil to Bill? Maverick, what do you think? Do we know is the pencil a boy or a girl? No, so what's a word you could use there? It. Number four, my mom went to the movie with Dan, Fran, Christy, Alan, and me. Lots of names. I don't want to write all those names out. Uh, Aiden? Them? Uh, them the, look, I, I have myself also in this. Us. Us because I also have myself. If I did not have myself saying and me, them would work then. So make sure you recognize who uh, is in that statement. Number five, I could eat jelly beans all day long. What could I use there, Ben? No. Look, huh? No. Them? Yeah. yeah, that would work. I could eat jelly, je I could eat them all day long. All right, possessive pronouns, last one. A possessive pronoun comes anywhere in the sentence. Possessive pronouns, remember, we're just like possessive nouns, they're showing ownership. Somebody's owning something. It's my horse. It's my classroom. Something you own, your book. Here are some examples. So write these down. It's her, our, my, your, his, and their. So write possessive pronoun, write shows, ownership, and then write the examples. It's her, our, my, your, his, and their.
All right, so using our possessive pronouns. Number one, all the kids met at Jack's house. Instead of saying Jack's, I could use what, Bradley? His house, good. Number two, the cat's meow sounded angry. Max, it's very nice. It's meow sounded angry. Number three, SpongeBob and Patrick's enemies ate all the Krabby Patties. What could I use there? They enemies ate all the Krabby Patties? No, there. There, good, yes, there, sorry. I thought you said they. Make sure you have the correct spelling of there. T-H-E-I-R is the one showing ownership. That's a very common mistake there. Number four, Carrie's book bag is pink and green. Kara? Her book bag, very nice. And number five, please come to the party at Lisa's, Amy's, and my house. It has my in there, so careful. We keep getting tricky and stuck on that one. Uh, Charlie? Very nice. Our house. If I did not have my house in it, I could say their house. All right, what are the pronouns in these sentences? Number one, what's the pronoun they used? Justice? They? And him. And his. Very nice. All right, number two, list me the pronouns in number two in your notebook. List them. I see three. Mason? And? Her. And? <laughs> he said what? she, her, it's very nice. And then it even tells us what type of pronoun. Number three, we told them about the birthday party at our house. I see one, two, three pronouns. List them, number three. Megan? We, them, and are. Very nice. And number four, my hat is way too big for your head, so you should take it off. I see one, I see two, three, there's three. My, your, and you. Oh, and it. I missed that one. What? There was four. I missed one. Remember, this is on your iPad if you need to see it on your iPad, guys. All right. Uh, on your iPad, I want you to go to language. And under language, there is a anchor chart there for you to also use as a help sheet while you are doing your homework. Your homework tonight for language is a flow vocabulary on um, our pronouns. All right, any questions? All right, ladies and gentlemen, you guys got work time.